Wow. Look at that, right? Hi everyone. That's me in the mirror. See that? That's my ball patch. That's bad. God, look at all my wrinkles. That's what ball patch, that's what people see from behind. A ball patch. No! Hello everyone. This is Jason Chats, welcome. Ooh. I am taking you for a walk. See this is what I have on my front door. Wait a minute. Uh, 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 no, that's it. You see that? Please leave parcels on the floor, thank you. <laughs> so I'm going to take you, I'm going to lock the... Doesn't work properly. So you got to turn it and turn it, turn it. See how many times I turned it? Still open. Got to shake it. That's it. Done. That's what I see from outside my window. Look. See? That's my front door. There's that. I don't know what the hell that is. That's, uh, that was there. I think you can see that. That was there when I first moved in as was that hole in the ceiling. And this, look at this. This is where the electric meter is. <sighs> that's the railings. So the first thing I see when you go out, that's the railings. That's the floor. Look at that floor, isn't it lovely? And that's big old windows. So this is like the little hallway bit. Going out. Hi Belinda. Hi Boston. Hi Ben. So this is it. This is, and that's the back garden that I've more talked about. I don't know if I've ever shown you the back garden before. There you go. I'll take you out there. These are the stairs. Ooh, the stairs. Right, I want to make sure I don't film anybody, like people, but I'll just show you the, that's the front door. The insides of the front door. Whee. Right. So let's have a look. See all that little cabinet? With stuff on there. Huh. Right, take them into the back garden. This is the back garden. See? See, it's shared, so it's shit. <laughs> it's basically, it's an SS, shared shit. Um, it's a lovely day, a bit windy, but I'm not scared of the wind. There used to be a crappy bench thing here. All the, all the local swearers used to come and sit outside and swear loudly and get aggressive and drink their drinky poos. But one day one of the neighbors sat on it and the whole thing crumbled. So the last summer we haven't had that. It really is windy. You might not be able to hear me very well because of the wind. So this is the garden. As I said, I never use it. I don't come out here unless I need to. I fancy a public poo. Sometimes I come out here and do a dump on the someone's doorstep. But other than that, I don't generally come out here. 
that's the theta gate. Some of the neighbors can't quite comprehend how to close the gate. So I think there might be a few brain cells missing. There's a big tree. Now that, if that goes, if that ever falls down, that big tree there, one of these buildings is gonna be <laughs> disappearing forever. <laughs> big old tree. So if you look at this tree there, the, the littler tree, um, if you look at all of the, the tree, apart from the stump, it was double that size and it fell down a few weeks ago. And the, the councillor just took it away yesterday. And that is my flat. The top there, that's where I live. So the left bit there, that's my living room. And the right windows is my bedroom. Yeah. So, over here, this is, this is quite a bit of room really, if it wasn't, because there's people living there and it's not really a, I don't know, I don't really feel comfortable being out here much. So this is, that's Andre's cage, or used to be Andre's cage there. That was actually the other ferret's cage because he passed away as well a couple of years ago. So that was, I'm sure a lot of you probably see Andre's cage when it was indoors, but that was it. Have a little look, it's all gone to, oh, excuse me. It's all a bit crappy now because it's been outside. Like this little bowl, that was, can you see that? That was his hammock. A few bits here. That's part of the tree that fell down. And there's just a few bits of stuff. Um, this is supposed to be the washing line, but they're rubbish. It's just, yeah, not great. And just a bit of rubbish there, a bit of crap, a bit of uh, stuff. So this would be quite a good place for my punch bag to have it on the wall, because it's a big wall, as you can see. Obviously, I don't need it all the way up there, but just, it'd be good to have a punch bag here and then I could do that outside, but I think first of all, probably not allowed, I don't know. I can't move away from the punch bag. In fact, do you want to see me? Hey, here I am. I don't think that I would be allowed, plus the banging on the punch bag would be quite vibrational for the person living in that flat. So that would be no good. Ah. This is tiring my arm holding this thing out. Yeah, so that's it really. I just thought I'd ever give you a little look about of my place. Um, I need to go out to the petrol station and get some, ooh, cut of chocolate bars probably. I just need to go for a walk. I've done no work today, nothing. Made no recordings, uh, done no editing, done zero. Just couldn't be bothered. It's terrible, isn't it? It's bad, man. And now, if you look at the beginning of this video, as I'm inside my flat about to leave, I notice the mirror behind me showing my big bald spot off at the back of my head. I've never been so angry. I'm furious. No one ever mentions it either. Because it didn't just appear. It didn't just like suddenly appear overnight. Like a, like a wart on your bum, you know? It's like, where did it, how, it's been there for years. It must have gradually got there. Why didn't anyone say, by the way, baldy, just start, 
do you do realize that you, you we can see inside your head from behind you I'm like really that would have been good good information to have instead of um i knew it was there but i just because i caught it on a camera once but what's weird is the local shop the local petrol station now know that i do stuff like this online so i have kind of keep this stuff a secret in a way not a secret as in I don't know, just I don't really tell people. I tell a couple of people, but I figure, well, why not just make, I can make videos publicly now. I've been doing this 17 years. It's not like I'm a, uh, just a, a starter. Someone's not done it before. I've got all my podcasts, I've got an audience. So why shouldn't I make videos and do the odd stream live and walk around and stuff? So I might start doing that but it takes a little bit of um, courage, I think, a different kind of courage to walk down the street with a camera because it's not something that I'm really used to doing. I have done my Jason chats where I've been out and about getting a train and stuff like that, but you know, sitting on a train platform talking, but I haven't, if I'm honest, haven't done much stuff like that for a long time not really probably never really did that much outside videoing now I don't know how good the audio is on this bearing in mind the it's quite windy mm. but yeah I thought I'd just why not why not have a little a little look around a little little day trip show a little day trip shall we and I got the also before I used to make videos and then I would upload them onto YouTube or whatever or onto Facebook because I got the mobile data unlimited on the phone I should be able to just talk stream live for as long as I want and it not run out however I don't know if that's true I don't know. So, what I'll do is, I'll take you, oops. All right, I've still got you on camera. My friend's come out, but I'm, I'll keep me on camera. Do you wanna go to the garage? I'm not filming you, don't I film myself. No? Huh? Okay. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you a picture of um, the, the dog. There you go. That's Logie. When I can't be bothered to shit on people's doorsteps, he does it for me. Yeah, <laughs> no he doesn't. I wonder how you zoom with this thing. Does it allow me to zoom it? Yeah, it does. Loogie. Hello. <laughs> yeah, really, what the fuck? What did you bite my finger for? He just bit my thumb. You know, what most dogs they run at you and they just then they run around you. He doesn't. He actually runs into you. Don't you? Say hello. Yeah, that's a cute little picture. Thank you. 
That's a nice picture. If you turned around a little bit, look, you turn around a bit. You can imagine that as a statue, you know, like at the back of him just looking. So this is why I talk to myself, because no one I talk to is interested in anything I'm saying. This is why I make videos. Oh, look, that's the one. Ooh. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go. So you've seen a little bit of my garden, the excitement of where I live. Don't get too excited. I'll see you later. Bye.